Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I try and do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. So in this episode, what I wanted to do is I wanted to run over two useful tools that a lot of people aren't using in their day. And if you are, you know, stop this video and maybe try and find some of the videos that I go a bit deeper with these. But for this entry level video, I wanted to talk about Dropbox and Evernote. So to start off with, in front of me right now is Dropbox. And for those who don't know, Dropbox is a file storage site that allows you to upload any type of files. So from images, documents, uh, spreadsheets, uh, everything you can think of, videos, um, GIFs, anything you wanted in, re in, 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 um, in, you know. And what it allows you to do here is store them in folders. Um, from here, you can actually share them with team members. You can share them out to people. You can store photos as well using their Carousel app, which is a separate application. Um, and I can talk about that in a bit. Um, and also uh, send them around um, as links to external parties, um, which is great. So it has a lot of functionality. Um, and on the web, this is the web version. You can drag stuff in and start getting going with them. Other things you can do is there's a Mac application and a PC application that you can download from dropbox.com. Uh, and from here, you can actually drop in um, items into your native program on the computer, and it will sync directly to the web version um, and allow you to access all of your Dropbox items from your Mac uh, as you go across your day, offline, online, whatever it is, you can access them all. So that's a great tool that you can have at your fingertips, especially when storing things as you go across your day. So the next thing is Evernote. And this is my Evernote, um, you know, excuse the YouTube improvements there. That, that's a comment that I saw and I had to stay, save it. So thanks, Crew Krunoslav. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Thank you very much for those comments. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you why uh, the Evernote and, and the reason why Evernote is being used. So Evernote is a tool that allows you to note take as you go across your day. So if anyone has anything they want to jot down, you know, meeting note, lecture notes, um, information about, you know, their doctor's appointment, whatever it is, you can store it as you go across your day um, and be able to store it inside notebooks. So it's very similar to the folder system. You can store it in notebooks, as you can see on the side. So notebooks flip out and you can store them all in there. You can even tag them uh, with the relevant information. You can put reminders to them, star them. And once you go into a note, you know, let's say you're writing meeting notes or anything like that, you have a whole access of features here. Things like from checkboxes to adding links to adding file storage there. So you get 100 megabytes per note, which is great. Um, and both of these, Dropbox and Evernote, both have freemium versions. So Dropbox has 500, sorry, 50 gigabytes free, um, I believe. Um, and addition, if, please, if you make any changes, please do put them in the comments because um, I might be wrong. They might have changed that recently. Um, and Evernote has a 100 megabyte storage on each note. But I believe on freemium, you get... Uh, I think it's 100 megabytes a month, uh, which isn't a great deal, but it gets you going. Um, and premium is 100, uh, 10 gigabytes a month, which is quite a high storage amount. I never, ever reach that. So both of these applications are great, but a lot of people are talking. There's a lot of assumptions at the moment that I have to use one specific one. Um, I use both of them, actually, and a lot of other people use both of them based on they've got both different qualities to them that allow you to uh, really go deeper with each. So I didn't mention just before, sorry, uh, Evernote does have the same suite of applications. Um, so Evernote is available on iOS, Android, uh, Mac, PC, BlackBerry, uh, and Windows Phone as well. So it has a range of ex uh, exclusive sources uh, where you can download the app. So you're never kind of without it. On Chrome and Firefox, uh, I believe you can get the uh, Evernote Clipper, which allows you to collect things as you go across your day. Um, and on Dropbox, you know, you can access Dropbox through Mac, PC, Windows, iPhone, and Android phone too. So just wanted to clear that one up. Um, next thing I wanted to talk about is obviously people have that assumption that, you know, you can't use two at the time. But for those who don't know, Evernote can be used as you go across your day. So if you're storing things, um, you know, I would go straight to Dropbox. 
Dropbox is a file storage site that allows you to bring everything together. So you can put all of your files and information there. But when it comes to note taking, this is a continuous tool. You will be using your drop, you'll be using your Evernote more than you will be using a Dropbox because you want to store all of your notes and information that you're going to use kind of continually daily in Evernote so that you have that continuous access and it's a continuous experience. Whereas Dropbox, you want to have as a go-to experience. So from there, you'll be able to access all of those files and documents uh, and, and request them when you need them. So it's almost like a resource folder. So when you get started with both of these, I recommend creating the following uh, folders in Dropbox. So create, um, obviously this is a test folder, create a file called projects, put one in front of it. Um, so just projects, create folder, uh, create another one called um, areas, create another one called resources, and another one called for archives. Essentially what this allows you to do is break down all of your activity. So in projects, you could definitely put all of the stuff that you're working on between one to 12 months that have a lifetime of one to 12 months. In areas, anything that has a one to three year lifetime, that you know could be your job role. Resources can be anything that you wanna store information based on, say health information, um, anything like that, that has you know housing information, finance information that you wanna kind of get to whenever it's accessible and archive where everything from these two sections come to die so you put everything there for relevance and inside these you can have subfolders too i've also structured this exactly the way i do on my uh, personal evernote account as well as you can see it breaks down into different notebooks too so that's how evernote works it breaks into notebooks and dropbox says very similar in terms of folders so both of them are free to use. Um, you can both get these available on all devices and it's a perfect way to get started. So if you're a young business, a student, anything like that, you can start getting going, adding all of your files to Dropbox and all your information that you want to store for later and all of your notes and continuous experiences on Evernote. So I definitely recommend getting them both and getting started adding everything there. Anyway, I hope that cleared up some stuff. It was very basic, but it's a basic understanding of how to get started on both of these services. So thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week and keep productive. I'll see you very soon in more in-depth videos for sure. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section um, about any videos that you would like to see in the next few months. So thank you very much, and I'll make sure to see you very soon. Make sure to have a great week and keep productive. Cheers, guys.